Uh, this I5 bias is interesting. It's used in starch titrations. And uh, you've done some of those in lab. Uh, so it, it is an interesting molecule. We know, according to the question, it's V-shaped. So when we draw the Lewis structure, we better get a V or you messed up. Okay, you can't get a circle or an X or whatever. Uh, it tells us the angle. That's not really relevant for us. We just want to draw the Lewis structure. So let's start with, for me, the valence electrons. And I would consider this a pretty difficult Lewis structure problem. Okay, valence electrons. Oh, I wrote electrons twice. Okay, equals, uh, there's five halogens, iodine in column seven, plus one for the minus charge. That equals 36. Okay, now, if it's in a V, just you want to think about what shape am I drawing this in. It'd be kind of silly to draw something that looks like this. Okay, that should not be my skeleton because there's no way that will ever look like a B. <coughs> that could look like a T or an X, but never a B. So know your alphabet and don't draw that. The only way it can look like a V if these are all uh, in a line, essentially. Uh, and hopefully it bends in the middle. Uh, let me draw it down here. So I'm going to put this in this sort of fashion here and go from there and hopefully I can get that to bend. Two, four, six, eight. So remember I always draw the bonds first. That's eight of 36 electrons right now. Then I do the electrons of the atoms on the terminal end, so the outside. So we've got 8 of, 8 of 32, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. And notice I always stop whenever I have four groups of electrons, four pairs of electrons. So now I'm at 20 of 36. Now I do the inside. A 20... 22, 24, 26, 28, uh, 30, 32. I filled my octets and I still have four electrons or two pairs <coughs> of Where do you want those? A lot of you said center, which is correct. However, there are three center atoms. You want it on the center center? Okay. Uh, so here and here. Now let's see if this looks like a V. Uh, let's start here. What's the, uh, let's start with the electronic shape for six groups. Octahedral. If four of those groups are lone pairs, it would be linear. Okay, let's try this one. There's four groups. What's the electronic shape? That's tetrahedral. And with two of them as lone pairs, the molecular geometry would be? Bent. So this looks like, okay, I don't know where you're from, but where I'm from, that is not a V, okay? That is a football goalpost in my world. So let's try again. This is incorrect because the problem told us it has to look like a V. This Lewis structure may be fine, but it's not what the problem told me to draw. It's not the actual shape according to the data, experimentally. So let's try again. Let's go back to where we were. I will recreate our situation. OK, now where do you want them? Four more electrons to go. I will put them on the center atoms. Let's split the difference and put one here, one pair there, and one pair here. I'll do that a different color. Put one pair here, one pair here. Let's take a look at this. We'll start with the center atom. It has four groups. The electronic shape is tetrahedral. What's the molecular geometry? This is bent. Both of these are the same, so let's just do one of them. Five groups, electronic geometry is trigonal bipyramidal. When you have a trigonal bipyramidal with three pairs of electrons on it, what's the molecular geometry? Linear. That's what I'm looking for here. These two are linear. That's bent. This will look like a V. Let me redraw it for you.
don't worry if you didn't get this right away or even yet. Uh, this is a difficult one. This is what it would look like. Again, the central one is bent. These two are linear on the outside, outside center. Uh, that bent angle is 95 according to the problem. This is an actual molecule. Uh, let me show you the experimental data. It looks like a B. Uh, and this is according to X-ray data. So uh, we are right on. Any questions about this? 